Hello and welcome to the Low Budget Review Show. I Does that look alright? I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about The Return by Rachel Harrison. This is one hell of a pink cover. Uh, this is Rachel Harrison's first novel, and it is about uh, four friends. Elise, who is telling us the story. Uh, Julie, Molly, and May, they were best friends in college, and one day Julie goes missing. And Elise is the only person that truly believes, after a certain point in time, truly believes that uh, Julie will come back. And two years to the day that she disappeared, Julie does come back. She has no memory of uh, where she's been or what happened. The four friends decide to have a reunion at this remote inn, and... Uh, immediately upon seeing Julie, Elise feels that something's wrong, and strange things happen, and the mystery unfolds. And that's all I can say about that. Uh, <laughs> this is not your typical thriller, uh, gone girl type story. Uh, there are certain aspects of it that definitely make it different than that type of book, which is so popular nowadays. Um, you might think, uh, if you read the flap, the inside flap of the book, you might think that's just what you're getting, but it's it's not. There are some other things going on. Um, very well written story. Uh, the first person narration is, I, d I don't know if you'd call Julie an unreliable narrator. Uh, there are points where she hints at certain things and it takes a while for them to be revealed. Um, I'm kind of iffy on that kind of thing in stories where the, uh, the, the person telling the story, I don't know. It all, it, it usually feels to me that if someone's telling you something, they should, they're just going to tell you. I understand it's a device, a literary device, and you need it to build up certain types of tension, um, <clears throat> and it's not something that breaks a story for me, it's just something uh, I think we see too often, maybe, but otherwise, uh, really, uh, the story moves along, the characters are all, uh, all very well written, they all have distinct personalities, Julie is um, the poorest of the four, and even though they are her best friends, she's always felt like the odd woman out. Um, but she feels that she knows... Excuse me, did I say Julie? I meant Elise. Elise being the one that's telling the story. Elise is the poorest of the four and always feels like the odd woman out. But she is the one that feels she knows Julie the best and uh, is the first one to really feel that something is wrong. Um... <clears throat> The tension builds quite nicely. There are plenty of very creepy things that happen. And, and this, uh, the, this remote inn itself is uh, a pretty interesting... I, I'm not going to say it's a character all its own, but it is a great setting. It's the type of place that has theme rooms, uh, and each, uh, each character's room was chosen specifically for them by, uh, it's either May or Molly that that uh, set up the weekend. I can't remember which one. But she specifically chose each themed room for each of her friends. Uh, although there is a mix-up at one point. Um, there are a few, a few of the creepy things that happen early in the book didn't make much sense to me. Uh, most of the weirdness is explained at the end, but there are a few things that, again, for me, didn't quite, weren't quite explained, and to me felt like they were there just to have something creepy happening. Um, I could be wrong about that, but uh, that's just how I felt about it. But um, anyway, it's, uh, it's, I really love this cover. <laughs> I, I like the, the bright, super bright pink. But I like the little shadow on the floor. Uh, I'm definitely going to check out more of Rachel Harrison's work. Um, hopefully, she'll have more books coming out. 
Um, and uh, I'm really not sure what else to say about this one. Man, these new these new episodes are a lot shorter than they used to be. It seems. Um, but I mean, it's if if you like the Gone Girl kind of thing, uh, what the woman on the train, the lady in the window, whatever that new one is, the woman in the window. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's it's a big big genre right now. These these thrillers, um, and this fits into that court category while kind of making it making it its own because of certain things certain elements uh elevate it dare i say above the typical twisty turny i guess final girls kind of the the uh, i can't remember the guy's name styly whatever it is you know that falls into this uh that one was okay um but for, for me, this is elevated simply because of certain aspects to it. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, if you like that kind of thing, if you just like a creepy story, well-written, again, great characters, um, I say go for it. It's, uh, it'll, it'll, it, it kept me turning the pages. It's, it, it builds up a nice mystery of, of what happened to Julie and why uh, she doesn't quite seem to be herself. I mean, if you're missing for two years and don't remember what happened, you probably wouldn't be yourself either, but there are very specific reasons for what's going on um, <clears throat> and her strange appearance and her strange behavior. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's The Return by Rachel Harrison. Highly recommended. Uh, looks like this is from Penguin. I probably should have said that says Berkeley, but there's a penguin on the back. So whoever the publisher is, it's not going to be hard to find. Uh, I think I just ordered it from Amazon, or maybe picked it up uh, at Barnes & Noble. Either way, good book, highly recommended, The Return. Rachel Harrison, very pink. Try not to burn your eyes. I happen to like it. Uh, that's it. Not sure what else to say. So if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Uh, this has been the Low Budget Review Show. I forgot to say, please like, share, and subscribe. I've been your host, Eric Smith, and until next time, read more books.